good morning all in today's video lecture we are going to solve one more problem which is related to the free longitudinal vibrations as we know that when the system is going to be vibrating along its own longitudinal axis we can say that is the uh, free vibrations of the system so here the problem is that the spring mass system that's given k1 and m has a natural frequency f1 calculate the value of the k2 when another spring which connected to k1 in parallel increases the frequency by 30% right so in this problem we do have the two condition the first condition is the mass is attached to the single spring in second spring uh, second condition the two springs was attached to the mass by parallel right in that case i am going to be giving the the given data i have written here the case one i mentioned here the stiffness of the spring is going to be k1 from the spring and mass system is the k1 and the m1 is going to be the mass right and natural frequency f1 i mentioned but in this case he haven't provided any numerical values rather than he has provided only the the text values of this one. in the second case what will happen so we need to calculate the k2 value when the another spring was attached and its springness constant is going to be k2 and they added parallel to one another and the natural frequency f2 increases by the 30% here what is the meaning of the 30% the f1 is going to be considered as a frequency one suppose and it is going to be natural frequency increases f2 is equal to 1 plus 0.3 that means 1.3% 1.3 into f1 it was increased so first case i am going to be draw the the free body diagram for this one first i am going to be taking the case one here so so this is going to be the solution for you the case case one so for this one according to this one so i am going to be taking the spring here and mass was attached to this one this is the k k1 now what is the frequency for this one f1 is equal to what is the f1 formula 1 by 2 pi square root of k1 by m is available so almost all the values are available in the text but we need to calculate the k2 condition right in this k2 condition how we are going to calculate i am going to be taking one more spring which is parallel to the the first spring so for this one so here i am going to be taking the case 2 case 2 so in this case these are the which is fixed end this is the one spring and this is the second spring i have taken this is going to be the mass is attached at one end i am going to say this is the k1 and this is the k2 so in this case what will happen so we need to find out the k2 value here the k2 value is nothing but here the k1 plus k2 means here the equivalent spring constant we have to consider here right so in this case what will happen the equivalent spring or the spring constant that is going to be k1 plus k2 clear so in this case k equal is equal to k1 plus k2 what is the natural frequency for this system f2 is equal to the natural frequency of the spring and the mass that is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of k equivalent by mass is it clear then f2 is equal to what is the formula we do have already we told it is increased the 30 percent that means f2 is equal to 1.3 times of f1 right if i am going to be substitute in this equation so then what i am going to be getting so that is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of k by m right when we do have a single spring and a mass i am going to be consider that is the equation 1 and this is going to be the two springs one mass i am going to be considering this is the second equation so i am going to be dividing 1 by 2 so what i am going to be getting divided by 1 by 2 so then in this case what i am going to be getting so that's going to be 1 f1 by 1.3 f1 right that is equal to 
1 by 2 pi, 1 by 2 pi will going to be cancelled, right? And this is going to be the k1 by m square root of by square root of ke by m, right? So now we got this one. F1, F1 will going to be cancelled, and this equation I'm going to be simplifying here. That is equal to 1 by 1.3. Whole square that is equal to k1 by k equivalent, right? What is the k equivalent here? So that's going to be your k1 plus k2. So I'm going to be taking that value. So I'm going to take it. That means 1 by 1.69 that is equal to k1 by k1 plus k2. So then I am going to be taking uh, left side and right side equations from this one. I am writing here. So that is going to be k1 plus k2 is equal to 1.69 k1. So from this equation I am writing k2 is equal to 0.69 k1. Right? So what it means here? So the value is equal to k2 is equal to 0.69 k1. That means whatever the spring we added to that system, that is equal to the 0.69 times of the stiffness of the first spring. So in this way, we are going to be calculating the, uh, the stiffness of the, the second spring, which we added to parallel to the first spring. Okay, thank you.